Hello and welcome to my incredibly messy garage. I am in the middle of a project where I'm going to be redoing some of the garage. I'm also doing a project inside the house, so things are a little bit crazy. Today though, I'm gonna be installing the Integrated Engineering TrueFlex Tune on my Golf R. Currently I'm on the Stage 191 high torque with high pressure fuel pump and I was waiting to, to change over to the TrueFlex Tune when I could get some ethanol and then it occurred to me, wait a minute, I can just go ahead and make the change without the, the ethanol. So, um, because it'll be able to read. So I've got my battery charger hooked up. I've got my laptop hooked up and my, uh, my driver here in the car. So <laughs> let's get it going. Some people have asked about what battery charger maintainer I've gotten. I got this one just at AutoZone. It's the Duralast brand. But the way that it works is you just connect the battery side first and then you plug it into the wall and it automatically sorted out which battery type I had and then went into charging mode. So um, it's super simple and I'm happy to do it. And it was, it was, I think it was like 40 bucks just to get this to be able to do this process. So it was well worth it. I'm not gonna have a battery die on me or break my ECU. So do that, get this. This is a requirement. I've got the power link plugged in here. Make sure the green light is on underneath it. Jensen's gonna reach under, yep, green light's on. We're plugged in. We've got the integrated engineering flash wizard up here. We're gonna hit tune and yep, we are connected. We have the power link. I do have the ignition in the on position. The key is inside the car, yep. And it's gonna take a look and identify what I've got. So currently right now I have the stage one high torque with high pressure fuel pump on the 91 tune. Um, I currently have 4,000 RPM launch. I think I'm gonna lower that while I'm going through this process. And we're gonna go check over on the engine. I don't know if everybody's gonna have this, but I have this one file here. If you're gonna go and switch over to this stage one uh, true flex tune, you're gonna go into the stage one high torque with high pressure fuel pump option and hit true flex. Make sure that you read these notes that are at the bottom of these tunes. They're really helpful. So in this one, it says that it requires the customer to flash to stock before attempting this tune, failure to do so will result in the tune running incorrectly. It also says if this is your first time flashing, you will not need to flash stock tune first. So then it also has a note about the TCU tune 2.10 or higher is required for DSG equipped cars. After the flash is finished, the vehicle is running. Ensure ethanol percentage is reading in the data logger. We'll go through that. If the ethanol percentage is stuck at zero or 100, check the TrueFlex harness install. Parts required for this tune are an upgraded high pressure fuel pump, check. Integrated engineering true flex harness, check. And upgraded intercooler is recommended. Uh, not on the car yet, but I've got it in a box over there. So we'll get, be getting that on right before we go up to stage two. Uh, please connect charger while flashing. So uh, instead of hitting next here, I'm actually gonna go back up, select stock, and I'm gonna go through flashing to stock first. All right, so this is going to take I think a while to, to go back to stock. Typically it takes longer. I think going back to stock and also when you're tuning from stock, if you have already made a tune before and you're going between say stage one, stage two, then uh, it goes rather quick. And I've been successful in doing that quickly without connecting the battery charger, even though it's always recommended. Just do it if you can. All right, so this just finished. It took about 10 minutes, and now I've got this message that just says, uh, if you have any other modules to flash, make sure you start the car, turn it off, and then turn it back on before doing that. All right. Started. I'm gonna turn it off. Then I'm gonna put the ignition back on. So now, I'm going to click finish. Great, I did that. Let's go tune again. I'm still connected. Next, it is, you know, let me just double check that. Yep, I've got that green light down there. Yep, I got it. All right, ignition is on. 
keys in the car. Let's see what we got here. All right, we are on the stock flash. Let's go change that. Engine. High torque. Find that true flex. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to review this just really quick here again. Okay. I went back to stock. Uh, I will go back and do the TCU stuff. So let's go ahead and click next. Click flash. So there's a flash requirement. They're just talking about that. You need to go back to the stock tune before doing this flash. So do that. Also do the TCU stuff. Uh, make sure everything is good to go and that you have the upgrades required. I do meet the requirements. Purchase for zero credits because I already own the stage one tune. Here we go. All right, so the car is still going through its stuff, but I just wanted to show you real quick under the hood. <clears throat> the only thing that I have done right now to the car is the integrated engineering intake and the TrueFlex harness where I have the ethanol sensor installed with the wiring harness. It goes over here for power, ground, and it's also tied into the ECU for what will be the ethanol connection to the ECU. Um, I also have the high pressure fuel pump upgrade, not integrated engineering's at this point. It is the auto tech internal upgrade. So I have another video on that, but so that's it right now. Basically the, you know, as I'm running a stock, not stock tune, uh, I could run a stock tune. I was running the stage one, you know, with this and the upgraded high pressure fuel pump. Uh, that's not really going to get any performance gains until you do an ethanol tune. So basically I just have this intake and that's it. The stage one tune and intake is what I've been running for quite a while. So we'll watch and see how long this takes to go from the stock tune to the upgraded TrueFlex. All right, there we go. We just finished. So that took about 25 minutes. So I'm going to go through do the bit where I start the car, turn it off again, turn it back on so I can do the TCU modules. All right, ignition back on. All right, now we're gonna go back into tune. Let's see here. Yep, we are still connected. Yep, yep, yep. All right, now let's check and see. We've got the stage one high torque with high pressure fuel pump and with true flex. Let's go update our TCU tune. I'm gonna go ahead and choose, I think I wanna do 3,400 RPM launch. Next time I go to the track, instead of all the way at 4,000. There we go, it's starting to do its thing. Here we are, we're all done with the tune. It just took maybe a minute or two to update that TCU tune. So I'm gonna go through and complete some more of the process where I'm gonna go into the extras once I get the car started up and see if I can see those ethanol values. Let's get that going here. Ignition is switched on. Okay. Off. On. All right, let's go in here into integrated extras, go into data log and see if we've got some ethanol values in here. All right, there we go. We've got ethanol value is currently at 9.8%. Uh, now I'm gonna open up my Fuelit app and see what the ethanol reading is on my Fuelit app. I lied about the fuel apart. I forgot that I don't have the device installed anymore. Um, I do have one to install and try out while this uh, integrated engineering TrueFlex kit is in. Um, it is, I think I saw it the other day. It's somewhere in the pile. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna put it on and test it out. I don't think that there's gonna be any issues, but it is not recommended to run the fuel it device with 
integrated engineering's TruePlex harness um, just in case something happens, you know. So uh, the information is being sent to the ECU. I can see it, I confirmed it. Uh, it would be fun just to be able to have something like the fuel it device where I can pull it up on my phone and just see what the ethanol content is after I fill up. All right, so I just filled up with ethanol from the pump, E85. I'm still showing a value of 9.804% on the ethanol and I just connected my fuel up Bluetooth device. I just saw it said E10, so I'm not concerned that this value hasn't changed yet. I'm gonna leave this on while I'm driving and uh, see how it changes. I'm now at 70, 71, and my fuel it device is also bouncing back and forth between 70, 71, so uh, this is perfect. Um, I will have to reach out to Integrated Engineering to see what the ideal ethanol content is, but it will be able to handle anything up to E85, so uh, I just am curious to try out some different power levels at different ethanol percentages. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, sorry to leave you hanging like that, but you see the 0 to 60 in 3.75. This tune is quick on the track. Make sure to subscribe so you can check out the next video coming up that features this full video and a bunch of other runs. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.